channel. Um, so today I have Shalane and Frizz with me and they're going to help me out with today. And the topic for today is focus. So with that being said, what is the first word that comes to your mind when I say the word focus? For me, it's tunnel vision. For me, it's escape. Escape. Like for me, when I when I um, was thinking about this word, it was more like your purpose and like the reason why mm -hmm. it came, came to mind. You know what I mean? Um, so cool. And uh, what does it mean to you like, to be focused? What does the word overall just mean to you? To like delegate um, a certain priority or to, to remain focused on that one thing or a specific thing in general, yeah. Um, to me it's all about self-control, so um, when you're focusing on a task for example, it's all about um, just forgetting about all of, that, all of the rest, all the external stuff and just focusing on that goal. Mm -hmm. And it's also a mood, sometimes you just feel like you're in a focused mood and you can just focus on anything, so it doesn't have to be one task, you're just yeah. on the go constantly and you're yeah. just in that focus zone type of thing. So, it, to me, it's also a way of freedom, I guess, by being focused on what I want to do and not being distracted by all of the external stuff. Yeah. And like, like coming off that as well, I put it as something. It's like living the best life. Yeah. Because you're, when you live your best life, you focus on what it is you actually want in your life, not on everything else that happens, but you focus on what you want so in your priorities yeah. so it enables you to live the best life mm -hmm. and another thing that I came across that I found really interesting and powerful is that focusing is all about choosing the right thing at the right time yeah because like you could, like you said you have like these external distractions and it's like okay but what are you going to focus on what are you going to make sure that your priority is and you know keep your mind frame in that space so yeah it's all about choosing the right thing at the right time takes discipline as well, I think. Yeah, yeah. Practice a, lot of a lot of self discipline. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. How do you stay focused? For me, when I need to be focused, I do come off social media. I make sure that, you know, I've got a lot of time alone and focusing on the things that I need to focus on. Um, I feel like I do shut, shut out the outside world just because I know that there's a lot of noise. Do you know what I mean? Like, I talk to so many people every day and you know, just on Insta I lose so much time just scrolling through pictures and I just feel like it's a big distraction and I feel like I waste so much time on social media. I feel like that's a big thing for me. Like that it makes I lose focus when I'm on social media. So, yeah, no. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> so, so I feel like I have to get back to yeah. the knock your times, man. Too addictive. I feel like you have to have like some sort of like you have to be in tune with yourself because if you're not then you'd feel like you know I can still do this and be focused but when you're in tune you know that actually you know I need to turn this off I need to do this I need to do that and this is what's going to help me stay focused or keep my passion to be focused do you know what I mean yeah, yeah, yeah. so I feel so like it's more like looking at the future and then it helps you kind of stay focused like looking at the end result of it yeah make sure yeah and my passion for it yeah do you know what I mean yeah. so yeah it helps me to stay focused, yes. What about you? How do you stay focused? I think it's, it's kind of similar to what she said, just getting rid of the noise. So, for example, when I'm when I'm cutting hair, sometimes even literally that noise of the music and stuff can just be too much for me. So then I go from, let's say, rap to reggae all of a sudden, just to uh, tune myself in with the right frequencies. And um, just surrounding yourself by things that are comfortable around you. For example, it could be like a noise, literally a noise as I said, or certain people around you that can distract you from your focus and your purpose as you said. Yeah. And I think that's one of the most important things, like the general focus I've got in life is very um, um, aligned with the, the results that I, that I see, my vision mm -hmm. and also my, my purpose in life. Mm -hmm. So if I'm not focused on the bigger picture, yeah. then it's hard to get there. Yeah. But then, during that journey, you have to focus on the small bits. Yeah. Like today, I'm going to sit at home, four hours of work, uh, banging out emails, for example. So I think there's different sets of focus that you need to get to that bigger yeah. picture, yeah, you know? Yeah, true. So what would you say like keeps you focused then? Is it? 
Yeah, well, like she said, exactly like she said, for uh, the passion for what I want to do, what I want to achieve. And I know that if I don't focus mm -hmm. on that or on this task that I've got today, then it could kind of uh, slow down my process towards getting towards that goal or, yeah. you know, uh, the journey can just be slowed down or it become more difficult if I don't. So it's just literally telling myself what's important, uh, what's right, and it's, it's all, all to do with self-reflection and just learning from times that you couldn't focus, why could I not focus? So let me surround myself with like... But better energy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Once you learn how to focus, you literally forget all the pain, stress, yeah. and it's like a relief because mm -hmm. once before you know it, two hours have passed and you're like, where did that go? Exactly. That's because you, you were so you into the that. moment yeah. and away yeah. from like society, away yeah. from all the trouble and everything, and you're into that thing. Mm -hmm. So that's why focus is, I think, it's a very uh, therapeutic thing to have, you know? Mm -hmm. There's also always distractions that okay. come with focusing. Mm -hmm. So what is your biggest distraction? Just like, said. <laughs> it was just Instagram. <laughs> Be honest, what is your biggest distraction? Um, Instagram, yeah, one of the things, social media. Um, leisure in general, maybe. Mm. Like, just having fun. Friends, with, you know, yeah, like, fun with that product, productivity. Yeah. You know? Yeah, there's a lot of yeah. there's a lot. It does. <laughs> like you're thinking about something. No, because I'm thinking about me, that like, I have sometimes too much fun, and I'm thinking, no, like, you need to cut it down. Yeah. You yeah. need to be productive, it's true. Yeah. It's but really then true. life is a balance, isn't it? You have to know the balance to when you can have, like, fun yeah. and yeah, be productive. Because yeah. sometimes you're, you have too much fun, and sometimes you're doing too much on yeah. focusing, yeah. do you know what I mean? And then yeah. you sometimes lose your passion because yeah. you're too That's focused. True, yeah. So, my next thing is like a little activity for you guys. Okay. okay. So obviously when we focus, we always have, you know, a focused facial expression or something that we do while we're focusing. <laughs> I bite my lip on us. I don't know if you see that, but yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> You know what? I, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. But one time I was cutting someone's hair and I watched the video back. And while I was shaping him up, I, I was I was going sideways with my lip. So imagine I'm I'm <laughs> I'm blading him towards this side. I would go up with my like, I'd go like this. <laughs> so my lips start moving towards the direction I'm going. Basically, that's one thing I clock. But in general, like you just, I don't know. But that's 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 yeah. that's. That's one of yeah. So like, if I'm focusing on something, I'll be like... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're just weird. <laughs> yeah. But it's weird how everyone's got something with their mouth, though. You bite your lip, your lip moves, yeah. and my tongue comes out. That's weird. Yeah. It's true. It's not really anything else. Yeah. Alright, so the next thing. Um, what do you find challenging to focus on? Like what is the most challenging thing to focus on? Do you know what it is yet? Yeah? I feel like when you don't have a 9 to 5, you do have to put in more work for it. So it's more focused, do you know what I mean? So you do have to literally consistently be focused or you're not making money, you're not progressing, you're stagnant, do you know what I mean? So I think that would be the most challenging thing is just focus, focusing on my career, my passion, I think for me it's, it's spirituality more like I think there's a lot of like because obviously I'm a Muslim and I think there's a lot of distractions that stir me away from that direction sometimes and I think that's that goes for a lot of people where they where they know there's more and they need to practice it um, because it's a big part of them but because of the distractions and temptations as you can call them uh, I think sometimes you get kind of uh, you're, you're drifting away from that type of path you know so when there, when there is like a task, like for example Ramadan, for example, mm -hmm. that's like that's the focus for the month. So yeah. it's, it's it's a bit easier to do it because do you, you know think, you have to do it. Kind do you of think thing. it becomes a bit more challenging though, because yeah. throughout the year, do you know what I mean? Like you have to like you've had to be focused. So when it comes to that specific point, it's like more challenging to to stay focused. In, in a way, it's, it's it's easier for me because I work well under pressure. So okay. I know there's a task in hand. You need to do cool. it. Cool, it's Ramadan. Okay. This is compulsory. Boom. Do I'm it. gonna do it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. But then when it comes to like daily prayers, for example, yeah. etc., you get so carried away with work, as you say, all yeah. these uh, like passions yeah. and drives for yeah, yeah, yeah. different things yeah. that you forget about the main. Forget thing. about the main yeah, thing in life to me, yeah. which is which yeah. is good to me. Yeah. Okay. And uh, it's not like I 
forget about it. It's just the bit of practice that it requires. Yeah. Just like other things that we do do, like Instagram sitting here, all of this yeah. stuff. We don't do the other things that are quite spiritual and would help us maybe in our focus and other other elements and aspects, you know? Yeah. So I think that's, that's why, uh, that's, that's my weak point. Mm. So I'm gonna get you guys to do something now, like some visualization. Okay. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> To visualize, like see it in your mind. Like, mm. so I want basically, I want you to visualize the word focus. Like, okay, it's a word, but how would you picture it? Mm, okay. in word? And I want you to draw it. <sighs> okay, here you go. <laughs> I don't know how to draw. It's alright. What would it look like? Kind of like a mind map of me treating someone. I don't know if you can see on the camera, but you can see there's some. So the, <laughs> this is the customer. This is the customer. Obviously, while he walks into the shop, there's a barber pole yeah, into the wrist shop. Um, that means I got to trim him. And obviously, while I'm doing that, I'm usually very much focused. So yeah. when it comes to me doing what I do best, that's what I'm good at and this is how I focus so yeah dedicating my time to other people's uh, hair and also their needs yeah. Yeah. so I've done an eye and then in the eye I've done like a path and then focus because I feel like you need to um, see where you're going first and see the path that you want to take before you can take it do you know what I mean so I think you also have to have like blinders on so you know where you're going and you stay on track. Hence why I have the bar. <laughs> and then focus is there. So I think it's a journey as well. Focus is, you don't just focus and that's it. I feel like you have to know what you're focusing on. So on that path, it could be passion, it could be purpose, it could be whatever you think you need to focus on. So um, yeah, and then you get to focus. And once you focus, you see the results. So, um, coming up towards the end, I came across this acronym of FOCUS and it's follow one course until successful. How does that sit with you? Oh, I love that. I love that because as I said, just with the picture, follow that path until successful. Yeah. Exactly. And do you know what, yeah, I feel like a lot of people, they get disheartened because they don't see the success straight away. Mm. But if you know where you're going and you know what to focus on, you will see it. Personally for me, I'm all over the place all the time. I'm, I'm, I'm all about structured chaos. Yeah. So I don't, I'm not really good at following one course. I always mm. want to do six things at the same time. Yeah. But do you know so, those six yeah. things could be the one course? Yeah, you know so I mean? it's the direction yeah. you want to go to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah in that but sense. I get what you mean because I'm the same. Yeah. It's like chaotic but still that's... So I can be yeah. focusing on, as I said, I was, I can be cutting hair here but I can still focus on my event that I've got yeah, next exactly. week. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But you're t if, if it's yeah. talking about like a course in yeah. general a direction, then yeah, I agree with it. Mm -hmm. But then it will take me back to the word success. To me, just focusing in that moment on what's important, that's success in itself. Yeah, very so, true. So, you know? Very true. Um, but like when I came across this acronym, I was like, oh my God, like, because I focus on so many different things. Like I do uni, I work as a nanny, I do my project, I do coaching in schools, and, like, I, and I coach adults as well. And I'm like, maybe, my life would be less chaotic if I just focused on one thing. Yeah. But with you guys saying that, I feel like, no, it's, it's good. Yeah. It's, like, it's still like There's towards general, the, one, yeah. the one goal, well, kind mm -hmm. of anyway. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, I, I like that though. So just to end it off, I want you guys to give any tips or suggestions to focus in. <laughs> I'll say um, sometimes focus is a result 
other things as well. Um, so if you don't have a, if you don't love what you're doing, I was, uh, when I was young, for example, I was in uh, primary school. I never loved maths. So during maths lessons, I was never focused. And then there was other things that I was focused on. So first of all, if you want to focus, I think you have to find something that you enjoy doing first and foremost. Uh, that will make it easier for you to focus on that because you want to improve in it, you want to progress, um, and furthermore, just getting lost in the moment and just throwing yourself in the deep end and just doing it, you know, uh, not being scared, taking risks. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes. In general, I think it's just knowing what could help you focus. And for me, as I said, social media, spending time by myself, um, relaxing, that helps me to stay focused. But as you said, it's also knowing like your passion and your purpose for why you want to focus it, because there's no point, yeah. do you know what I mean? Yeah. In trying to focus on something that yeah. you yeah. don't enjoy, yeah. do you know what I mean? And for me, like I think I'll say like what I said earlier about choosing the right thought at the right time. I feel yeah. like that's very important, like just analyzing your thoughts, analyzing your actions, Amazing. and making sure that you choose the right one, you choose the right thought, you choose the right action at the time because mm -hmm. sometimes you might choose the wrong one and it and it distracts you and you're off focus. So yeah. I think that's like my my tip for anyone. So that's all my questions for you guys. Thank you so much Thank for you. Thank you and happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> So where can we find you on the social media? Um, you can find me on Instagram at Salome, S-A-L-O-M-E-X Grant. And I'm not on Twitter that much. Um, Snapchat, Shay X Peace. So it's S-H-Y-X Peace, as in P-E-A-C-E. -E. So I'm going to spell it all out for you. So yeah, that's my Insta and my Snap. Um, on, in, uh, on YouTube, uh, subscribe to Risk TV, R-I-Z-K TV. That's the main one. And on Instagram, we've got Risk Clothing, Risk Arts, and Risk Barbering. So check it out. Yeah. So my surname as a brand. <laughs> <laughs> it's trademarked. Yeah. <laughs> it's not my brand. We're going to find this out. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a battle. Because <laughs> I've got to focus on this one. Yeah, focus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye.